They're just a really strange little car. They're just odd. Just an odd little thing, really. Not only is today's car Dutch, it's also virtually impossible to understand how it works. This eccentric DAF 33 from 1972 is currently owned by Marcus Hasted. I've always had something mechanical around. I've never had anything posh because I'm not a rich man. This is a fun car. I've had it about nine years. I don't go long distances in it. So what massive power plant is uh, hiding under here? 750cc air-cooled flat twin. Well, you don't put pedals to the metal. You don't get anywhere in one of these things. Most people buy a car on looks or performance, not Marcus. I was intrigued by their method of transmission. Forwards to go forward and back to go back. Belt drive. <laughs> it produced power exactly what you wanted, when you wanted it. Changes it down automatically. Infinitely variable. Well, you just didn't have to worry about anything at all, really. All you had is a stop and go. It's rather like driving an electric car, I suppose, although I've never done that. It's called Continuously Variable Transmission, CVT. Complicated, but ahead of its time. And it developed, of course, into the CVT gearbox that we know in quite a lot of modern cars, which were also developed by the same chap, Van Duren, who designed the DAFs. Marcus believes that there are only nine of these left running in the UK, and rarity means value, sometimes. All the joys. Uh, we did not get involved with that many DAFs. I can only count, I can only count three or four, I think, that we've ever got involved with. So, um... OK, Dave? Yeah, fine, thank you, Marcus. Yeah, super. Are you familiar with these or not? Um, pretty much, yeah. It has to be started in gear, you know, not in neutral. Oh, is that right? All oh, right, I wasn't aware of that one. It's in back now. Right, OK. OK. You... They don't start in, in neutral, sir? No, you only use neutral for working on the engine. It, that doesn't work. Turn, no. it, turn it on. Yeah. Under here, upwards. Ah. <laughs> Sneaky. <laughs> super. I've not driven one then before, then. Um, yeah, but about five or ten years ago, I think, at least. Yeah. They haven't improved. Super. For all of Dave's lack of interest, he's still happy to present a masterclass about the DAF's inner workings. Small cog, little cog. The big cog. The faster the engine spins, it... it I can't think of the, the terminology now. The, the larger cog contracts and grips the elastic band. Hydrostatic. I can't quite think how it's called. It's almost like a, like a starter motor when the speed of the starter motor throws the, the, the drive gear, the dog gear. In. Maybe we'll come back to that later. Because this DAF 33 is one of the very last in existence, its value is another unknown. Can you remember what you paid for the DAF? Or... I think it was about 400. So if you get 410, you'll have made a profit. <laughs> I want a bit more than that nowadays, I think. I suppose the, 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 the advantage is there is you can dictate the value, can't you? So if you've got all the DAFs and somebody particularly wants one, you know, if they've recently been released and uh, they feel the need to own one before they get captured again, then, uh, yeah, you can do it, can't you? Dave risks being thousands out on the valuation. But with Derek not here, he's going to have to step up to the plate. What are you dancing about that one? Well, I, we haven't spoken about it, um, so I'm not sure really. If, if you want me to get him to give you a ring after he's seen it, yes, um, I can do that. Yes. I'll, uh, I'll, put, I'll, I'll put on there Derek to call. Here it is. Your little daft, you're 33, aren't you? Little 33, very amatic. Um, we didn't really understand them too much. The general public didn't really comprehend quite how good they are. Uh, and I can remember picking one up in London, coming around the North Circle and all them traffic lights and such like. And, and, and when you slowed down, the engine speeded up. It was, it was quite odd. It was quite a weird feeling. They were probably the first automatic, small automatic, marketed in this country that actually probably worked or was any good. 
Derek thinks it's worth between two and three thousand, but it needs the right buyer. The only people that really wanted a small automatic car were the elderly people, which explains why it was only the elderly people that bought one. I wouldn't mind betting it will sell to somebody whose dad had one. I wouldn't mind betting that was it. One big rubber, like alternator belt, like drive belt, um, and, uh, and a couple of spinning wheels, yeah. So as the engine spins, the, the cones, which are shaped into a V, contract, and the, the belt rides up and away you go in the drive you get, yeah. So it is very much elastic band, yeah. It's just one great big elastic band, yeah. Who owned these back in the day? Oh, definitely the vicar or schoolmaster. Which is your preference? Daft for me. Easier to repair. Much easier to repair. And you, and you probably kill yourself in that quite easily, where probably never ever kill yourself in a, in a daft. Choosing a daft over a Porsche might mean Frank and David know how it works. One last chance. The slide along two cones. Yeah. Just on a cone. Slowing down, it goes slower. Speeding up, it goes faster. Sliding up the cones. Very easy. Daffy Duck, lovely little thing, 1973. Forward to go forward, back to go back. Lovely little bit of kit, MOT till January 2019. In maroon, bonny little thing. Where are we going to be with that? Start me. Where? 19 and going then, 2,000 pound. Seated, 2,000 pound. 2,000 pound, provisional only, but we'll talk. 2,000 pound last time. Provisional. I had one years and years ago, many years ago. I've, I've wanted one since. There's no real street cred with them or anything like that, but I, li I like the idea. And after so much confusion surrounding its mechanics, Eric's in no doubt about why he likes them. Simplicity. Uh, not long ago, I had to have left shoulder replaced. I said to my wife, I just love a DAF 33. 